a long time ago in a land of magic. Welcome to Arcane Odyssey, the new Terraria series that I've been planning for the last six months, at least. <laughs> it's a modded series, so you can click the link in the description of this video to find out all of the mods that I'm using in the series. Two of the main mods, because this is a magic and mysticism playthrough, Two of the main mods, we're using the KRPG mod, and we're using the Enigma mod, which adds the Mystic class, which is going to be one of our main goals to try to get into the Mystic class as soon as we possibly can. Anyway, I don't want to waste any more time, let's go. In a brave new world of wonder stretches before us. Oh man, what did I get myself into now? We got some glowing blue ore right over here. Oh, first of all, let's see. We got shuriken. I can't use them. I'm gonna put them over here. We have multiple uh, bags of dimension. We do have some glyphs on us, so let's see. We can make use of these to, to use as a weapon until I find or craft something else, a main weapon. Let's see. Oh my, oh my. Oh me, oh my, that's awesome. <laughs> well, this will work just fine. It's a very defensive looking thing. Sweet, let's just chop down some of these trees over here. Let's try, let's test test out the spell. Oh, wow. Oh, it's very explosive. I like that. I like that a lot. Hey, who are you? Let me protect you, who are you? Get out of here, slime. Hey. Wake up. Ugh, my head hurts so much. Oh, hello, Simon. Someone bursted into my house and pretty much destroyed it. If you could repair it, I'd live in it again. You should look into my chest. It has some things that can help you with progression. By the way, if you need some help, just talk to me. How did you know my name, though? What is yours, by the way? Code James? It's James the Guide, everyone. Thank you so much, James. I guess you're omniscient because you're the guide. So you just know things. Okay. Well, our spell wore off. It seems to use whatever we have on our hotbar. We have a broken copper shorter sword, disarray relic. That we are going to put over here for now. A bunny carrot. Oh, ooh, we have a little familiar, a little buddy to hang out with us. Excellent. Put this, wait, over here. Part of the challenge is going to be juggling multiple inventories, but I'm thinking on the third inventory, I'm gonna put all of my like quest items, which there will be plenty of quest items. Let's put this over here. Okay, there's gonna be many quest items. So, okay, actually let's switch to that. And let's see what you have. Be careful over there, James. I don't want you to get in trouble. Okay, we have a note. Let's see what the note says. If you won't pay your debts, we will kill you in your own house. Be sure you will not survive if you don't bring gold to our camp on the east. Oh, yeah. I will bring you some gold. I'll bring you guys some gold. Gold is my fists and my magic. My magical axes that are going to be spinning and pickaxes. Oh, man. Leaf roll restores health. Cool, we'll put that over there. We got some iron bars. We got some books. We will make use of all these things. We have grenades. Everything I'm gonna sell will go on inventory number two for now. Pruning shears, these are other things we cannot make use of. Not quite yet. Anyway, there we go. Okay, we'll keep our main objective here right now is to let's chop down a couple. We'll chop down these over here. We're gonna repair James's house, guys. 
he's going to help us out. So let's help him out a little bit here. And uh, in order to do that, we need wood and we need stone, it looks like. But we also, we have, look at all this over here. Look at all this amazing looking stuff. Let's just, I'm going to just trap you in there to make you safe forever. Chop down this tree. Thank you. Thank you so much. And let's check this out. Okay. Here, let's get rid of this note. We're going to put the note over here. So we're going to repair his house. We have to journey to the east and discover all these really amazing things on the way there. And then we got to take care of some bandits. Hopefully we find a weapon before then. Besides, hmm, another thing we cannot use. We have bronze bars. We have nickel bars, gold bars, healing potion, hunter, flaming arrows, ashen dust. Used to craft these. Ooh. Let's loot all that. We'll keep the chest here for now. Okay, let me put all this stuff. All of our bars are going to go here for now. Keep the... Here, we'll do that. The leaf roll I'm probably going to use as my main healing item for now. Okay. Still need a weapon. Let's use this. We'll keep this activated as much as we can. Hopefully, our good friend James is okay. He can, he can fend for himself. I'm sure he can. He doesn't need the powerful arch mystic Simon to take care of him. Although, we don't really have much of our power anymore. So, that's a problem. We, our bunny can fly. This spell is amazing, though. This is so good. It's so cool. It doesn't break pots. I think that's probably a good thing. So we have a tower, a mysterious tower. We have a giant tree over here, which, oh no, ouch. Here, let's go in here. We have some, we have an insulated squeezy. 5% increased magic damage, increased mana regen, and a material. Let's check that out real quick. What does that make? Fanny pack. Interesting. Interesting. With a bunch of stuff. A bunch of things. Okay. Well, that's going equipped right there for now. Okay. And we got more rope, lead bars. We got shuriken, more of it. Okay. So if I loot all, it places the shuriken automatically. No, it doesn't. Okay. So inventory management, guys, is going to be a little bit tricky. Just a little bit. We got some potions, which I'm going to use them right now. Okay, we got these, which we're going to put right there. Okay, excellent. And we're going to take this chest. Thank you. We got a coblin approaching. Coblins approaching. Do we have chests hidden in here? I do not know. We have a workbench. We will take that. We shall take the workbench. We have a door. I might as well take the door. We're going to need one. Okay, let's go. Escape from the giant tree, Dungeon of Doom. This we will put... Actually, I'm going to use these. We are allowed to use bombs. Not as a primary, though. What is this? A dry slime. Okay, stay away, foul beast. We got a glaive. We cannot use that. Cannot use that. We can use the pickaxe and the jade. And the jade. It's almost, it's getting late. Let me get some of the stone, though. I'm gonna need that to repair the house. I'm trying to move a little bit faster here. There's just so many new things, guys. So many new things. Who am I talking to? It's just me here, right? In this new world of wonder. No. I'm talking to all the voices in my head. Mystics. Being a powerful mystic comes with a price. And that price is madness. <laughs> well, just a little bit. Just a little. I mean, sometimes Simon thinks that he's not even in this body at all. He's actually sitting in a room someplace being controlled or controlling this avatar. Get some, some of this. We got a chest down there being guarded by a ferocious jelly jellyfish. They can actually be pretty ferocious, so we need to be careful. But this, uh, this spell is pretty powerful. 
pretty powerful. Having a main, something that I can shoot, would be very nice. We got two chests. Get popped. Get popped. I'm telling you. Okay, we got a coblin coming after us. Got some element. Lightning coiled lucky ring. 5% increased critical strike chance. What a lucker. Thank you. Oops, where'd you go? Thank you. Grenades. We will take them right here. We cannot use them. Let's loot these. Let's use this. And let's take the chest. Okay. And this, we have an egglet. Okay, we'll equip that. Lead. Let's loot all this. Okay, already inventory. And this ore. Pretty... Come on, you can get out of there. Come on. You can get out of here. Stop hitting your head, Simon. Stop it. Okay. Go away, Sir Coblin. Come on. Draw me a wand. We've, we've gained strength and power. Yes, that means we have a choice. Resilience increases your defense, life regeneration, and maximum life. Quickness increases your speed, evasion, and crit chance. Increases your damage, leech, and crit multiplier. Let's go for resilience for now. Get that max HP up a little bit. Ooh, we have another tree over here. Another giant tree. Let's go check this out. Oh, here are the bandits. They're right here. Oh, man. All right, so let's go down here. Where's this? We don't want to draw their attention quite yet. Let's head down this tree. We have a room in this tree, yes, and a chest down there below it, too. Man. And we got Leaf Wan, we got Living Loom. Excellent, excellent. Let me actually place the Living Loom right here. Put a torch here. Just so James might be able to move in here for now until we fix his house. And let me look through all of this stuff real quick and uh, do a little bit of inventory management. Okay, so I actually waited the night in here, and good old James, or Cody, James, good old James, moved in here, and I was looking, I did some organization of my massive inventory, and there are a few things we could make. I could either make a slime workstation, which allows us to craft slime armor, which I looked at a little bit. Slime, look at this. It has low defense, of course, but it magic. We need a lot of gel for this, though. So that's a possibility of something we might want to go after if I can kill a lot of slimes or farm slimes a little bit. But then there's also, with some of these, we got Gandalf's pine cones, And I remember Gandalf. He's quite a powerful wizard. <laughs> so let's make some of these. Use these, perhaps, as our... Maybe our main... Here, you know what? I want to take this. Too. Give me that. See you later, James. We shall see you again soon enough. There we go. And boom. Okay, so let's check out down here, actually. We got some more of this jade. We can make jade armor. It looks like there's a hut down there as well. We have climbing claws. Excellent. More grenades. Let's loot all this. And then the grenades, we need to move over here. Okay. And we got mining potions. Good. Good stuff. Take the chest. I like having all these chests on me. So, you know, you always need a ton of chests early on. Where did it go? Did it automatically get put in there? I guess so. Okay, sure. There you go. What is this now? We have other ore that I can't seem to be able to mine, but we can get this jade. Oh, yes. We can get the jade and the, the bandits are right up there. They still do not know we're here right on their doorstep waiting to give them some gold in the form of this and pine cones, hopefully. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping the tables are not turned on us. Actually, let's grab these as well. We're going to need a lot of gems for setting up a storage system here. Um, get some of these. Let's throw these around. Okay. Okay. Ooh, chest finder shows nearby wooden and gold chests on map. Give me that. Give me that. Wait, what does it look like? 
Look at that. Oh my god. Look at that. That's awesome. Excellent. Excellent. Give me that chest. Am I drowning yet? Where is that meter? I am drowning. Okay. I didn't notice. The uh, UI being different is, uh, well, it's a little different. Let's use these instead of... This is uh, 70 life. Okay. Well, yeah, it's a little newbie healing item. Use the shine just to use it. Put this over here. Shurikens, we need to put them there. We need to sell all that stuff. Cool, let's get out of here and let's see if we can do this. Excellent. So we don't have a hook yet. I don't remember that. Let's barricade this a little bit. Okay. Let's use this and... Oh, it freezes them in place. Get out of here, bandits. I see you have... You've captured somebody over there. We have leveled up again. We've gotten more powerful again. And hello. I'm here to free you, bound adventurer. Thanks a lot for saving me, stranger. These bandits captured me when I was walking through their camp. Who knew that this camp belonged to such horrible people? So you were just walking through their camp? Rolf? You, are you sure you were not trying to do what I'm going to do right now? <laughs> and loot them dry. Well, okay, we have... A rusty buckler. Accuracy for defense. We'll put that on. It gives us defense. That's nice. We have five defense. Robber sack, which we'll open here. We have a gold. And we have an emerald staff of longevity. Eight magic damage. Uses mana here. We used all of our pine cones except for one. Aw, oh, poor pine cone. Okay. We have a staff, though, and three more gold. Loot all that. Let's actually move our torches. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, guys, uh, this inventory system. Definitely, definitely going to take some getting used to. <laughs> I mean, we got three different inventories. You could only use items when you're on a certain inventory. Let's shop. We need or iron coins. Uh, well, you can give me some money for this. We're going to sell this as well. We're going to sell... This cuts vines, but... Eh. Sell that. We're going to sell the grenades, guys. Let me just check real quick. What else we can make with them? Yeah, ranged... Oh, Book of Rockets. Oh, interesting. <laughs> interesting. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to keep the grenades. What about these, shuriken? Yes, yeah, so those we will sell. Okay. Anything else we're going to sell to you right now? Skeleton statue. We'll keep that just in case. Throwing knives. What are they? Just in case. I got to check all this stuff. New mod pack. Tons of new stuff. Summon. Okay. I have to make sure I check all this. It looks like we got a snow biome over here. Okay. Grenades stay there. Let's see. Anything else? Look at this. Chest finder. We'll just keep that in our inventory. We don't need that on us. Okay. And leather. Yes. Right. Uh, revolver. It's not a yeah material. We got another robber sack with tungsten bars. Look at all these bars we have. We have 21 gold bars already. We have a ring we could make. Melee speed. No. Um, let's see. Potions galore. Let's open this. We might as well. We got sailfish boots. Uh, yes, we will wear them right now. Take the aglet off. Okay, we'll check that real quick. Does this make anything interesting? Oh, yeah, of course. But then the Ankh brace. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Keep that. It's more silver ore. Do we have any ores anywhere else? No. Okay, well, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Rolf. Thank you. Let's go a little bit further here. It's a little bit. I just want to... Well, let's chop down. We need trees, guys. We need... I'm going to collect a bunch of pine cones. Or a, lot of, a bunch of acorns, I mean. So we can make more pine cones. And there's also... Also, I think we can make something else using the... Uh, acorns besides planting trees back which you know is going to be pretty important i suppose 
I suppose that's pretty important. <laughs> Let's just get all these for now. And let's grab this day bloom because I do believe, I do believe with these, we could also make, look at this. We got acorn staff. Do we have 12 of those? I don't think we have any of that stuff yet. Here, let's use this just in case. Protect me. Okay, acorn chopper, young sapling. Huh, interesting. Throne, no. Auto jump. We also can make High Aldwin's acorns with... I can make them right now. Ooh. With one stone, one of those, at a living loom. Let's head back to the living loom real quick and make that. I want to check that out. Oh, wait. The living loom is on me. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, here we go. So we can make High Aldwin's acorns. Okay, let's make this. Perfect. Perfect. And if you guys have ever seen the movie Willow, which is an amazing movie, there's a peck here with an acorn pointed at me. Oh yeah, guys. If you've never seen Willow, I highly, highly suggest you go and see Willow. Let's check out what these acorns do now. Real quick. This is amazing so far. Oh, hello there. We have another tower. Yeah, guys, there's a lot of uh, world gen things in this mod pack. Tons of little world gen things and frosted lantern. It's dark and cold, but, cold, but I will guide you. Yes, so we have a light pet already. Excellent. I'll keep this chest here. Why not? Just so this doesn't get ruined by a meteorite strike, because I'm assuming that meteorites are going to be able to strike our world fairly soon enough. Fairly soon enough. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end this first one here. We did a decent amount of exploration. Made some things. We got some weapons. Let me grab this chest first. Not die. Okay. We have... Oh, I used two acorns by accident. We have this guy who looks pretty scary. Okay, we have a staff. Whoa, what is that? Oh no, this might be bad. Blow him up. <laughs> Kill him. Okay, so we got a spinning wheel, too. Or a loom, if you will. And we got flurry boots. Okay, well, there we go. Bombs. Excellent. I'm going to have to do tons of inventory management. It's going to be insane. That's what I'm going to do between episodes here. We're going to go... I'm going to go fix his house. Fix James's house over there. And then we're going to start uh, putting some of this stuff away in chests and selling some things, maybe. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you again really soon for the next part. Let's use this and get back. All right. Peace.